Earth is flat. Your mom's a whore. Well, it's been a minute since we've discussed Daphne Reloaded. Currently, she is obsessed with vegan gains. You know, more than usual. Oh my god, this girl is disgusting. She is worse than Nikocado Avocado. Ugh. So you want to torture and kill animals just so that you don't have to do this every day? Vitamin D. And B12. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that was so hard. There's no way I could do that every day. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stab animals to death. Cause, oh my God. Just do my, I have to kill animals to get my vitamin. So, to just do like a quick little replay here, uh, let me explain what happened. He's holding what he says are a pile of B12 pills in his hands. And his advice is for people to just open up random supplements pour handfuls of them into their hand, and then put those handfuls of pills into their mouth. Um, does she not understand sarcasm or what satire is? God, how dumb is she? This is the way they've seasoned this. Really good. Uh, the batter tastes really good. We also uh, got their shrimp. Uh, they're using like a generic sort of soy shrimp that you can get from a bunch of Asian markets and stuff. A generic soy shrimp that you can get from a bunch of Asian markets. That's your diet. That's your diet. This is your diet. This is this is why you feel so crappy. This is why you look so depressed. This is your diet. This is the diet you advertise to your subscribers who I cannot even believe have survived long enough to support you eating that trash. If you take a look at that original video, it's titled Epic Vegan Cheat Day. What did she really expect him to eat? A salad? No, you don't eat salad on a cheat day. You eat junk food. Duh! Shrimp. And now they're going out to have some sushi because all of that food that they ate didn't fill them up. Look at how glorious. Oh my god. Holy is the best crap, restaurant. that's a lot. I'm not even going to do another recap of everything you've eaten in this day because it is absolutely enormous and disgusting and I can't believe the sheer quantity of it. Says the girl who shovels an entire chicken into her pudgy little pie hole. Hmm. You have some nerve telling people that they are creeps. She is the one who is a creep and pretty awful. Remember that little renegade podcast? Cause I do. Well, the discussion you and Sinead had about Eugenia Cooney, uh, her fate being uh, the, the catalyst that could bring down Western civilization, I, I, I found it enter, enter, entertaining and uh, uh, food for thought. <laughs> well, right after I told that, um, what happened was my videos about her um, got demonetized, two of them got deleted, and YouTube sent me some very unsavory emails regarding those videos I had made about her, but only after they had generated thousands of views. When, when you get enough numbers on your videos, and Sinead can certainly tell you about this, when you, when, or when you get enough shares or, you know, however they calculate it, that's when they're going to take you down. What, what got her knocked off of Twitter was just a, a simple photo that she posted of a of, of, of flag with, uh, with a swastika symbol that uh, yeah, I know. got I her out. Again, it's just a selective enforcement of, of whatever stupid policy they have. You know, it's like it's like the it's like the Jews being a, a one minute they're a race and the other minute they're a religion. Well, uh, YouTube's like, oh, we're in Twitter. Oh, we're a public service, and then the other end of it. Oh no, we're we're, we're a private company. It's the, same, <laughs> it's the same fucking dichotomy that just it just it, it, it enrages me. Basically, being a danger to society, telling people to eat water. I think she meant drink water. But either way, she has this weird aversion to water. Okay, so I believe that electrolytes are now added to water so that these wateraholic idiots don't fucking die. And I am just sick of hearing about this water bullshit. Not only does she believe that water is an addiction, but her diet advice is also pretty terrible. She really has a habit of deleting comments that call her out or when people don't agree, but I did find a few. Sometimes when I eat meat, my kidneys hurt. 
Do you think it's a coincidence? Hmm, gee, I don't know. Okay, but I got a kidney stone after being carnivore from so much uric acid and being dehydrated. So what can help? You know what can help? Stop listening to retards like Daphne and Sparage. Even good old Garland Farms pointed out you need to differentiate bacon that contains nitrates versus bacon that does not. This means that over time, consistently eating nitrate-laden bacon will cause your blood to carry less and less oxygen to your tissues. Well, gee, no wonder Daphne is always so out of breath. Oh, I don't eat fake meat. No, no, that's for people who are transitioning. I don't do that. Okay, that's really funny. An awful lot of you still fucking transitioning because who's buying all this fucking fake meat? <laughs> fake bacon and the fake fucking salami and the fake fucking sausage. And my question for vegans is this. When are you going to stop wanting something warm, salty, and fatty. Okay, I know I've been taking jabs and just trolling here, but I do actually have a legitimate answer to this question. A lot of people think that they like the taste of meat, but in reality, it has more to do with the seasoning than the actual animal itself. Here's my beautiful rotisserie chicken. Wow, what did you put on top of that? Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. <laughs> All those vegans <laughs> trying so hard to replicate meat. Vegans aren't necessarily trying to replicate meat, but rather the flavor. The same way meat eaters will suckle on the seasoned lemon pepper chicken skins. The Japanese call this umami. Umami is defined as a category of taste in food besides sweet, sour, salt, and bitter corresponding to the flavor of glutamates. Strangely enough, glutamate has the same chemical compound as MSG. If you break this down even further, there is isonate and there is guanylate. It is a common amino acid found in vegetables and animal proteins. Isonate is mainly found in meats, while guanulate is mostly abundant in plants. Gee, what a surprise. There are many healthy plant-based foods that you can eat that contain the umami flavor, such as seaweeds, soy-based foods, kimchi, which is essentially fermented cabbage and other vegetables, green tea, tomatoes, mushrooms, along with corn, green peas, garlic, lotus root, and potatoes. Oh my god, these are all plants. What a coincidence. And fun fact of the day, Trader Joe's has a umami spice, which guess what the ingredients are? Kosher salt, dried onions, ground mustard seed, porcini mushroom powder, white button mushroom powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried thyme. Hmm, geez, aren't these all plants? I believe that we can conclude that the umami flavor is predominantly used by plants and herbs, not animal flesh. Vegans are simply imitating flavor the same way that Daphne uses lemon pepper on her little rotisserie chicken. Anyways guys, I know this is enough, but thanks for watching. Hope that you are all well, staying safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!